Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another experiment. Today I'm going to be making some modifications to my beloved Hornby Smoky Joe. <laughs> This Smoky Joe is the limited edition Hornby Centenary Smoky Joe, which makes it something special. It's got quite a special livery. However, the mechanism is nothing special inside here. In fact, it's got the same mechanism that the standard, very low range Hornby train set locomotives have. And therefore, the performance isn't that great. I mean, it's okay, it's a fair runner, as you can see, but it certainly doesn't do a great crawl or anything like that. So I've been wondering, can I upgrade this locomotive? Can I make the mechanism a little bit special as well? Well, I think I can. I've got this. This is a higher quality five pole motor, and I'm gonna try and swap this out with the three pole motor that's fitted inside Smokey Joe. I think, I think this is a three pole motor. When I've got the old one out, we'll dismantle it and uh, find out exactly what motor Hornby we're using to start with. And then hopefully when this five pole motor is fitted, the performance will be noticeably better and we will have a special Smokey Joe in every sense of the word. So five pole motor, Smokey Joe, that is the destination. However, I'm going to be making one stop along the way. And this is the slightly devious part of the video because I have this. Now I don't know very much about this motor because it's got sort of Chinese writing on it that I don't understand, but it is a torque tuned motor. And one of my viewers got in touch with me about this, told me to get one. Apparently these are sort of super high speed motors. They're only designed for sort of three volts maximum. So this is not a good idea. I mean, this is gonna burn out if I turn the controller right up very possibly. But I'm very, very interested to know what happens when I fit a motor like this into a Hornby steam locomotive. I've no idea. It's still sealed inside the pack. But you know what? We need to find out, I think. So let's get the old motor out and let's put this one in to start with, see how it runs. And then we'll get a bit more serious and put the five pole motor in. This should be fun. Come with me. Let's give it a try. So this is Smokey Joe running along at full speed with his original motor. And as you can see, it's really not very fast. I calculated that it was only doing 0.42 meters per second, which is very unimpressive. So that's what we've got to beat. So here we have the replacement motor. I think the first thing is gonna be to open this up and actually test it, find out whether it works. The rated current on this is one amp to 1.3 amps, which is just over what these Gage Master controllers can put out. So I don't know if we're gonna get the best results with those. If not, I guess I can change it for a better controller uh, that can output more current, but let's just test it, see if it works. Are you ready? Oh, be careful not to overload this at this point. That's at 30% speed. And my God, that is racing. <laughs> okay, so let's get this motor inside Smokey Joe, find out what happens. So this was a reasonably straightforward process. It didn't take me too long to do this. First job, of course, to get the body off. Well, that's easy enough. Then it was just a case of desoldering all the various components from the original motor. I did find what looked like a resistor in some heat shrink tubing, so I've done away with that because I don't want anything slowing the locomotive down. With all the wires and stuff off, the motor was free to be removed, which was very easy to do yet again. Then I had a bit of a panic because I realized the motor I bought has the shaft on the wrong end, which means I wasn't able to mount the motor using the original mounts. But not to worry, I just bodged it with some hot glue. I wouldn't be happy with that if this was a permanent solution, but I'm only gonna try this motor for five minutes, so I think it should be fine. Obviously though, if the motor gets hot, the hot glue is going to melt, so that should be pretty interesting. Either way, it's in position, so I soldered the wires back on. I didn't bother with the TV suppression equipment uh, for the time being, but I will install that when I put the five pole motor in. And now that the body is back on, we have a complete Smoky Joe with what I hope will be a ridiculously fast motor fitted. So let's get this down onto the track and find out actually if this bodged Smoky Joe is going to work. I can't believe I've put hot glue on my centenary Smoky Joe. I must be insane. Okay, let's try it. Well, they do say where there's smoke, there's fire. So it should be very, very interesting to see what happens here. First question then, does Smokey Joe still work with the mystery Chinese motor fitted? Let's find out. Are you ready? Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Let's, let's pretend this is a review. Are you ready to see the crawl, everybody? Right, I'm gonna turn it up real gently on the controller and you can watch what happens. Oh gosh. Okay. 
That is not much of a good crawl, is it? Wow. Seriously, that is the speed that it's kicking in at. Let's try that a bit slower. Seems to be capable of going a bit slower forwards, but there's no torque there, which is a bit strange for a torque-tuned motor. But yeah, seriously, I'm hitting like 15 on the controller between 10 and 20. It's going ridiculously fast. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> oh God. Right, I'm gonna zoom out and then we'll hit it with 50% speed, which will be overvolting the motor, but we'll find out what happens. I feel like I can smell burning already. I don't think that can be right, but <laughs> yeah, you never know. Right, let's hit it with 50% speed first of all then. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my word. All right, this is very, very fast. <laughs> this is insane. How long is that motor gonna survive at that kind of speed? How is this not derailing? Oh my God. Gracious, blimey. So that was absolutely crazy. And I do have a speed result in. So the speed that time was 1.2 meters per second, as opposed to 0.42 meters per second with the original motor. And that was only at half power on the controller, half power. So already we're three times as fast as the original locomotive and we haven't even reached full power yet. Oh, crikey. You know what that means then? It means I'm going to have to turn the controller right up to full speed. This is going to be, you know, probably three times what the motor is rated for. Can I get a speed reading from it before it burns out? Let's try it. 100% maximum speed. Let's set it forwards. It's going to derail, no doubt about it, but let's see if we can get a speed reading. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> God, it did, it like did a backflip. Oh, we've got to watch that again in slow motion. Man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and calculate the speed result from that. And then I think if the thing still works, We'll get it on a straight and just watch how fast it goes along the straight with the camera really close to the track. Okay, I'll be back. All right, folks, I tell you what, the results are in and they are very, very impressive. So that time it hit 2.17 meters per second, which is five times faster than when Smokey had the original motor. That's absolutely crazy. However, I'm not convinced that he was actually at full speed as he went through the speed trap. I think he actually needs longer to accelerate to full speed. So let's move on to the straight, as I said, and let's see if we can squeeze any more speed out. Okay, hopefully you're in a good position right there. Are you ready? Full speed in three, two, one. Full speed in three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> now that was fast. Look at that crash at the end. Let's have that again, shall we? Now that was pretty intense. Right, I'll go and calculate the speed of that one then. Surely that's got to be faster. That went like a bullet. Okay folks, the results are in. Before I tell you what they are though, I will just say it stinks up here now. I mean, bad. It's reminding me of my childhood, uh, my original childhood, not the current one. Uh, when I used to play with Scale Electric, you know how you get that burning smell? Well, it smells literally like that, but perhaps 10 times worse or something. Yeah, I don't know, something's going wrong with that motor. And it does kind of show because that last test was no faster, even though it had much more of a run up. That was still 2.17 meters per second, which is still five times faster than with the original motor but I'm not seeing any more speed coming out of this thing now. So that was fun, that was absolutely crazy, but I think it's now time to do the more sensible part of the video and find out for sure whether a five pole motor can perform better than a three pole motor. Here's a hint, it can, but let's prove it. First though, as promised, let's investigate what sort of motor Hornby were using on the original Smokey Joe. I don't recommend you do this because there's a good chance you won't get the motor back together again afterwards, but I'm not intending to use this motor, so that is my excuse. 
Okay, so there you have it then. Yes, this is a three-pole motor. And you know, I don't really understand why Hornby still use three-pole motors when you can get five-pole motors in the exact same enclosure, obviously with different shafts and stuff, but that's not a big deal, for not very much at all. I mean, this is a good quality five-pole motor. I know that because I've used these before quite a lot. And it cost me less than two pounds. It was just over a pound, in fact. And I was buying them in small quantities. How much money can Hornby possibly save buying in the quantities that they do by using nasty three-pole motors? Well, I don't know that these are nasty. Let's put the five-pole into Smokey Joe and see if that works any better. So it's very much the same process as before. Dismantle the locomotive, desolder and remove the existing motor. And then it's time to prep the new five pole motor. Now I had tested this already. People get on at me for not testing motors before installing them. I did test this one before the video started. We still have a short shaft on the end of the motor onto which I want to fit the gear, but I've just applied a little bit of glue to the worm gear and that has stuck on there quite nicely. Then it's just a case of getting the motor in position and getting all soldered back in and I have refitted the capacitors that were there before because those are actually quite important that I've more recently discovered. One really annoying thing with this is the strength of the magnet inside the new motor that I fitted. It must be using neodymium magnets because the connecting rods were constantly being attracted to the motor. Everything I did, everything I tried to do, the darn things were sticking to the side of the motor. And even now that I've got the body back on, if you push the, the connecting rod down, it rises back up again. It's still being attracted by the magnet. I hope that won't make too much of a difference to the performance. Only time will tell, I suppose. But the Loco is ready. Let's get it down onto the track and find out whether it performs any better now. Here we go then, Smokey Joe with a five pole motor onto the track for the first time. I guess the first question is, is this even going to work now? Well, I will test it, but first of all, let's just jump back in time a little bit to the original motor, and here's me trying to crawl with it. Now, bear in mind, this motor had been running. I'd run this one in properly, and as you can see, it's not terrible, but it is kicking in at a reasonably high speed. It wasn't capable of doing much of a fantastic crawl. Okay, time to test it then. Is this actually going to work? I'm fascinated to find out. If it does work, bear in mind that the motor inside here is effectively brand new. I've reset the locomotive back to its factory settings, so perhaps the loco will need to run in before we see much of an improvement, but let's give this a try, shall we? Let's give it a little bit of juice and see if the crawl is any better with five poles. Here we go. Turning up. I hope it's gonna work. Probably quite cruel asking it to crawl at this point. Oh, oh. Whoa, look at that. It's doing a bit of cogging. <laughs> it's not dreadfully smooth, but there is no way this could have done that with the three pole motor in there. That's insane. I mean, realistically, that's not very smooth. I'm guessing that will improve with running in. Let's try it forwards. Real gentle. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> so, I mean, if we get it to the old Smokey Joe sort of speed, it is pretty smooth, as you can see. Oh, and look at those connecting rods. I really don't know what I can do about that. It lo that looks really wrong, actually, doesn't it? The way they're jumping up and down like that. Hmm. Could I put some shielding around the motor, maybe? I don't know if that's going to be causing friction. Oh, I'm not going to be able to unsee that now, am I? <laughs> but no, I mean, in back, in backwards, actually. Backwards is where it's at. It's a much better crawl backwards. Forwards again. Yeah, that's still much, much slower than the old one could do. Let's slow it down a bit. Yeah, it's not so good backwards for some reason. I did have to mount the worm drive closer to the motor. Uh, that's just because of the, the length of the shaft. But no, backwards, you can definitely see the improvement, can't you? Let's have a look at the original footage again. Backwards. Yeah, I mean, this is a lot slower, isn't it? Not very smooth, though, so I'll get this running, and we'll see what it's like in about half an hour or so. Okay, here we go. So there you have it then, Smokey Joe with a five-pole motor, a slightly better motor to match the slightly better livery on the Centenary Smokey Joe. And you know what? At this speed, you can't really tell a difference, to be honest. There's a bit more clicking from those connecting rods. That's actually really, really annoying. It's annoying me more than it should do, actually. Maybe I'll see if I can put some shielding around the motor or something, but there's not very much space inside there. 
And yes, there is a clear improvement at the slow speed. It's not an amazing crawl, is it? I think we've definitely seen better, but the fact is it's an improvement and that's pretty decent. So thank you so, so much for watching. I will just insert a little clip at the end of this video just to show you what the performance is like after running in was completed. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. All right, cheers folks, take care. Okay, I'm back as promised. It's now been fully run in. Let's just see. Oh, slow. I would say that is crawling better than it was to start with. Let's just go in reverse. Reverse was better before. Oh, look. Why is it so good in reverse? That is strange. But yeah, obviously that is a clear improvement over the original motor, which makes me kind of recommend this. So if you really want to upgrade an 040, make it run a lot better than it does already, a five pole motor can actually go quite a long way. Let's just uh, do the crawl again, shall we, forwards. It's definitely not so good forwards. I wonder if that's to do with the mounting of the worm drive. However, it is better than it was, so there we go. Right, folks, I'm gonna stop rambling on about this now. Thanks for watching.